Hi, it's Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com here with another One Take Wonder video. We're going to take another look at the Celebration Basics banner and I want to show you the Valentine's banner that I created using all of the supplies from the Celebrations banners kit as well as the Calypso Coral add-on kit and some of our new product from the 2014 Spring Catalog. So, what I used was the letters R-E-A-L from Celebrate, so we've got real. In the middle here, I went ahead and cut out a heart using the framelit, and you actually saw this one just with the open heart without all the accessories on it in the original Basics video, and then I went ahead and embellished it, and then I went ahead and used a retired Big Shot die. It's a good, it's a good thing to get your hands on items when you see them, because Stampin' Up! does retire products, so this is a retired die, but there are lots of ways with um, e-cutters out there, templates, stencils, and like that, to add the letters, but I went ahead and used a retired Big Shot die to cut love. It does use white cardstock and our new fancy foil vellum, and they were cut together the same size. The gold paper that you see on this banner is actually part of the Calypso Coral. The back side of it has um, a designer print and coral. I did use our word bubbles. I love the word bubbles framelits. Assorted framelits from different, um, this is the heart framelits, this is one of our card thinlets. The pieces here on the background are from our banner framelits and this paper is part of the Calypso Coral line. And then we went ahead and we just added ribbon in some of the places. This tag is from the Calypso, not from the from the Basics kit, so that's there for you. And then I went ahead and I spritzed it just a little bit. One of the things that comes in the kit is a spritzer tool that you can go ahead and put reinker in and water to go ahead and change the color of your little pom pom banner, um, pom pom tassely banner thingy here. And um, I had some left over, so I went ahead and I spritzed my banner and then I have it all strung. You can see it stretched out in its entirety in the photos on my blog, but let's take a look at how we created this little um, tassel piece here. Um, pom pom tassel banner, I'm sure there's lots of different names for it, but let's go ahead and move it aside. In the kit, as I mentioned, you do get the spritzer tool and you're going to want to invest in the coordinating Calypso Coral ink if you're using our Calypso Coral refill kit or a color that you would like to see coordinate with it. It does have crumb cakes and grays as part of the line. And you're going to get quite a few of these sheets of, they're kind of a tissue based paper that have adhesive at the top. What I found when I'm spritzing this is that I like to have some paper towels. I like to have um, a piece of cardboard for support. And then I like to work down inside of a big box to contain um, any of the spray as it gets aerosoled, um, aerosolized and as it moves you know, out over the papers and I want to get closer to the edges. But for the purpose of the video today, I'm just going to kind of take my chances and just spritz a little bit on this piece of paper here. And what you want to do is you want to hold this upright and you just want to start to give it some good squirts. And you're going to see that it's going to start to fill in. What's going to happen is it's going to kind of have a little bit of a marbling effect. It won't necessarily be equal throughout, but I do like that personal um, kind of an ombre faded kind of look. I think that it catches the light. And once it's all scrunched up and everything, you don't know, necessarily notice that. So if you've got some great big holes or something, you would definitely want to fill that in. And of course, you're going to want to go to all of the edges. Once you have it sprayed the way that you want it sprayed, then you're going to go ahead and cut it. Prior to cutting it, if you decide that it's not dark enough, of course, you can always go over it again. It's a lot easier to start with a lighter color and go dark than, of course, it is to go from dark to light. I put about 20 drops of reinker in the spritzer and then added water to it. So this isn't quite dry, but we're going to go ahead and work with it. Technically, you would wait for it to dry. I have a pair of scissors here. Yes, some of you that are watching this are going, oh my gosh, she's using ribbon scissors. And yes, I am. I have a pair of ribbon scissors that I've designated for some paper crafting. I love the very long, sharp blades. But again, I've got them designated just for ribbon, nothing, or for paper, nothing else. And let me just see if I can cut a little faster. So you guys are going, okay, Jan, we know how to cut lines, and I should have had one more done kind of the whole cooking show variety thing for you and I'm sorry that I didn't but again we're just cutting up lines you can make these as narrow or as thick as you want them 
Of course, varying the widths and things like that are what's also going to change the look of this little tassel that hangs. You can also use more than one color. I chose just to do the entire thing with the Calypso Coral, but you could technically rinse out your spritzer and then add a second color. So if you wanted it to be two-toned or to truly have that ombre effect where it fades from one color to the next, you could definitely accomplish something like that. And for that matter, you could even do three colors. There's no rules. That's one of the hardest things that I find for um, people with crafting and creating and when they see some of the projects as we make them is that they think that there are rules or they have to be exactly the same. I think the hardest part of creativity sometimes is just trusting that little voice inside your head that says, no, try it this way, you know, go this way instead. It doesn't have to be exactly the same. So, almost done here, guys. Thanks for hanging in with me. As I'm finishing up here, I just want to um, encourage you to submit suggestions for other banners or ideas that you have for banners and leave them as a comment here and you may just see your idea come to life um, with the banner kits. So if you, again, have an idea that you've been thinking of, oh, I wonder what a banner like this would look like or, you know, how could I do a banner for something like this or this special occasion, again, just leave me a comment and I'm going to be looking through the comments and picking one or two of the banners both with the comments here on YouTube and the con comments on my Facebook page and blog to bring a couple of those banners to life. I'd love for you guys to inspire me. We'll turn the tables just a little bit on you. Almost. Let's just do one more. Heck, it won't be quite as... but you're gonna get the idea. Okay, so you've cut all your strips. Kinda looks like it could easily be like a little hula skirt. And you're gonna take the backing off of the top of this and I just found that if I just start rolling it and then that's all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and roll it up let's get it going here I think the hardest part is the first turn or two and then you're just gonna roll it real tight or you can roll it loose again if you roll it real real tight you'll have kind of a more of a pointed tassel and it'll be a little I guess maybe fuller looking. You can also roll it loose. And then once you get it all rolled, you can wrap ribbon around the top of it, baker's twine around the top of it, you can wrap cardstock around the top of it, or if you don't want to wrap anything around the top of it, you can take the embossing powder and tap it on it, and that little bit of powder will go ahead and um, release the stickiness. You can also take a little bit of cornstarch that's in a cheesecloth or something. And so then you'll have your tassel just like that. I like to crunch it up just a little bit and just kind of give it a little bit more. And this is just one piece of paper. If you wanted it thicker or fuller, you could see that if I had taken and just envisioned this and wrapped two of them, how much bigger it can get as you work with them. And again, you've got quite a few sheets that are part of the kit. So have fun um, playing with your own basic banner kits, celebration kits. And again, if you have any ideas, for banners or um, thoughts or you need some inspiration, just leave me a comment so that I can bring a couple of your ideas to life. Thanks for watching, and I look forward to bringing you more 2014 spring catalog product. Have a great day. God bless.